You're right, Samia. In this one, I'm going to show you how I made this really simple compact mirror. Now, it doesn't go totally to plan, but I hope you can learn from my mistakes. And most of all, I hope it inspires you. Now, this mirror project was actually for a secret Santa. And I hadn't been at my new job for too long, so it was a bit of a head scratcher to come up with an idea. But I drawed out my colleague Sheridan, and Sheridan loves a lip gloss. So I thought, what better than to make a compact mirror? Now, the first step in this project was to resource some walnut that I had left over from a previous project. It was already a bit thick so I needed to get it into two halves, one for the lid and one for the main body to the compact mirror. Now all I'm really using the laser engraver for at this step is to just draw out my guidelines. You could of course print off a template or if you've got a steady hand, draw it on by hand instead. I also used it to mark where my drill hole locations will be, that's for magnets later on. And as it's a laser engraver, I thought add a little bit of a personal touch and I engraved an S for Sheridan's name. It was then time to do a little bit of routing, so I then used a 6mm flute cutting bit in my palm router to just tie down slightly more than 1mm in depth. The mirror that I'm going to be using is really quite thin and I just wanted to make sure that it would sit below the surface to prevent it getting scratched. Trust me, with this process you don't need a CNC, just take it slow and steady and have a good eye and it should turn out okay. Once that was done, I gave it a quick sand and it was time to drill the holes ready for the magnets. A bit of parcel tape on the drill gives me a depth guide so I know not to drill all the way through the walnut. Next, it was time to add the magnets, a dab of super glue and hammering them in flush sets them in place. Now this is where I had my major hiccup. I was already worrying about how thin I took the lid down. I didn't want the lid too thick, but I took it far too thin. So adding in the magnets, I ended up splitting the walnut not great so there's my first mistake learn from it and what i ended up doing i then went ahead and i cut the base because thankfully the base to the compact mirror was fine so i got that cut to shape and i resorted to using a plywood lid instead now i love plywood i love the look of the edge if you want to avoid this you are going to have to double up on the thickness i think for the walnut but i did add a walnut veneer to the top of the plywood at least just to keep that color combination going and I really like the exposed edge look anyway, so in my opinion, I actually think it's a bit of an improvement. I went through the same process of adding the magnets to the lid as well, so it all clips together nice and snug. It fit a bit too snug really, and I didn't think about this part, but this is where you adapt as you're working through a project. I needed to add a little bit of a recess so it make it easier to lift the lid off. So I just took a hand file and I filed a crescent moon shape into the edge of the base to the mirror. That would just give a little bit of clearance so I could get a thumb underneath, to lift off the lid a lot easier than before. Sanding it all smooth blends it in nicely. Once that was done, it was back over to the laser engraver to engrave a nice rose design onto the top of the lid. Now I know not everyone has got a laser engraver, but I really do think that this adds a lovely touch. You can skip this part. You could go outside with a magnifying glass on a sunny day, but you probably won't get the same result. So if you've got a laser engraver, go for it. If not, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure you could paint some lovely designs or if you've got a soldering iron or a pyrography kit, burn on a hand detail and I think that would come out really nice. After even more sanding, getting it up to 240 grit, it was time for the finish. Now I love spray lacquer, so that's what I was going to use. And I went with a high gloss finish just to get that shine going and to bring out the grain in the walnut. After three coats of finish, sanding between each coat, it was finally time to fix the mirror into place. Again, I just used some super glue, it's more than strong enough for this application. And that is the compact mirror done. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out considering the mistakes I made part way through. But at the end of the day, the mistakes and how we learn. And I hope that you've learned from it as well. If you really like this project, make sure you go ahead and click the like button. If you didn't like it, click the dislike button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and more projects, make sure you get subscribed. And if you'd like a notification whenever I upload a new video, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you should get a pop-up on your phone or an email to let you know there's a new video to watch. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.